Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Wayne here. Today we're back in the city of Las Vegas, about to go on another, well, we're not doing a food review this time. We're actually going to change things up and do a hotel room review. Yes, that's right. After all, in a few months, I'm going to be traveling the world around a lot more often and seeing so many different things. And I want to implement hotel room reviews into my portfolio because, you know, a lot of people seem to be interested and they actually like hotel room reviews. So that's what I want to do. And we're in Vegas right now and the room tour we're going to be reviewing viewing is at Park MGM. For those who don't know, Park MGM is one of the newer casinos or hotels here that took the place of the old Monte Carlo. But it's not exactly that new. It's already a few years old, but still it looks really nice. So we're going to be reviewing the two queen bed strip view room tour. As you can see, here's a little sample right here. The strip views right behind me. And I would say it's not that bad. Price point, you know, it's actually one of the cheaper hotels to stay in. Not the cheapest, but you know, I'm paying around $58 a day, not including resort fees. So, you know, it's not a bad price to pay considering it's not exactly at the far end of the strip. Closer to the middle, but still not a bad spot. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's go on with the tour. So this is a tour of the Park MGM Strip View Room, two queen beds, and overall I have to say, it's actually a pretty interesting and neat room for what it is. So starting with the door over here, as you can see, it's just a regular old plain door, nothing too special about it. There's just a little fire safety hazard code over here. There's a lock, lock, lock over here, and a little sign if you don't want anyone to enter in, clean up or stuff like that. And then on the right side, you notice that there's a switch, and this switch handles the lamp up there, so if you turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. It's a pretty neat little switch. Then on the right side of the door, immediately if you come in, you'll notice that there's two little hangers up here. So if you want to hang some clothes, stuff like that, go ahead. This is a place to do so. Other than that, nothing too special. Moving along the left side of the room, when you enter through the door over here, this is the bathroom. I'm sorry, they gave me a disability room for some reason. I don't know why, but hey, I actually quite like the disability rooms. They're pretty cool. But I'm going to show you the bathroom for last. I want to show you this closet first. This closet actually looks so nice. Wow, I mean, just look at this closet. There is no door to cover this closet by itself. It's just open as is. But it's still pretty neat, as you can see. You got an iron up there, some clothes hangers, a bag, and bu a bucket of ice, or ice bucket, I mean. And the neat thing here is that you actually got two glass cups, like glass cups. These are real glass. Like, how cool is that? Normally, if we can go to hotels, they give you the plastic cups, which I'm not really a fan of. They don't really work that well. But the glass cups, oh, that's amazing. You also got a safe right there, pretty big safe, ironing board over here, a little storage thing to put your baskets or clothes on over here. Not too bad. But what I really like about this closet is that it also has a shelf or drawer so you can store your clothes or any other valuables you want to store in here. There's one, two, three, four drawers. Pretty cool, I have to say. Not too bad, I really like this closet. Very nice closet. Then moving on to the room, this is what makes the room so special. The strip view two queen bedroom. Oh man, it looks absolutely beautiful. Except for the paintings. I don't know why. Whoever designed this room has a very bad style sense. Like that is way too many paintings. Way too distracting, a little bit odd, and a little bit creepy to be honest. Don't really like all that paintings, but overall, it looks to be like a really neat and clean room after all. Like, wow. So, and once you enter into this room, you'll notice that there's a full length mirror on the right side, as you can see. That's me right there, and this mirror is absolutely long as heck. Woo! Oh man, this is a good length mirror. It also has two lamps on the side. If you want to turn the lamps on, there's a switch right on the side over here, as you can see. Turn it on, and I have to say, it is super duper bright. Woo! That is some bright lamps. But we're gonna turn it off for this video because we don't really need all that light. Moving alongside the room, you also have your snack bar area, which is pretty cool. You got some cookies, you got some candy, you got a, oh, charging kit. That's pretty neat. i never seen that before. There's also some fidget water. But the one thing you should know is that, you know, all of this costs money. So if you lift it up, you're going to be charged for whatever you lift up. So we're just going to leave that there. We don't really need it. We could just buy our own thing. So there is that. Then moving alongside the room, you also got this gigantic TV, which I have to say is a very decent size. This TV looks really nice, 
Picture quality is absolutely amazing. Oh, man. And they got quite a few channels, which I'm pretty impressed. A lot of movie channels, too. So if you want to watch movies or anything like that, this TV is for you. Remote they put on the shelf over here. And over here is the outlets. As you can see, there's two outlets, two USB ports, HDMI area, and a Bluetooth audio for TV. All which looks so high tech. That's pretty cool. Then moving alongside further into the room, you'll see that there's a gigantic table with only one chair. In all honesty, I wish there was like one more chair, but hey, one chair is enough. This chair, I do have to say, like it's actually pretty comfy. It's a leather chair, very nice chair. Table itself, pretty big, pretty spacious. And the only thing that's on the table is the in-room dining. So if you're curious about the in-room dining, here's the QR code, as you can see. Overall, not too bad. This water does not come with the room, by the way. This, uh, we actually went gambling, so we got a free water. So there's that, so ignore the water bottle. Then further on into the room, as you can see, you got a trash can over there and some outlets over here and another long wire that stretches all the way to the top to this lamp over here. And in all honesty, I'm not really a fan of this wire. This thing is very ugly. It's an eyesore. I don't know why they put it over here, but it is what it is. Room only costs 50 to $55, so you can't really do much or complain. So here's the switch over here, as you can see. Lamp over here turns on, off, on, off. It's not really the brightest light, but it'll do its job. Not too bad, we're gonna turn it off for now. Moving alongside, I wanna show you my most favorite feature of all in this room, and that's this gigantic lengthwise sofa or couch. Oh man, this is amazing. Not too many hotels have a long, long couch like this. This is amazing. And I love how super soft and comfortable this is. Oh, who needs beds when you got this long couch or sofa? I would totally sleep on this. But anyways, I'm sure you're wondering about the main attraction, which is a strip view. As you can see, this is a view of the strip. And in all honesty, I'm going to have to say, it's nothing really too special. Like, as y'all notice, there's nothing really for you to see. I mean, you got the Coca-Cola store right there, the M&M area, Marshalls, you got Ross, you got Target, Walgreens, CVS. But other than that, it's not really that impressive. Doesn't really look beautiful, especially at night. Like, it doesn't really stand out. I mean, you can see MGM Grand over there. That's about the only nice looking thing that's here. But everything else, not really that interesting. I mean, strip view rooms is only like $8 or $10 more than a regular room. So, I mean, not much of a difference. So, there is that. But if you really want a strip view room and at the, at the park MGM, this is basically the view you're going to get. I mean, it's... Not the best view, but it's an okay view. All the good areas are way on the other side, so there is that. But anyways, if you're wondering how to close or open the sh curtains for the shades, there's two little latches over here. So, for instance, this one right here. Oh, no, that's open. This one, as you can see, we're closing it up. Pretty easy to close. Opening is a little bit harder, but it'll do the job. This is a good workout. There's also a second one here to close the second blinds or curtains, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave that open. Overall, not too bad for what it is. Then we'll be on. You also got the AC over here, which is pretty cool. It's a modern AC. If you want it hot or cold, just move down the switches over here. and will change the temperature. I actually like this AC better than some other hotel ACs I've seen. They're way too old school. And other than that, the main features of the room is, as you can see, the two queen beds. And the queen beds are actually really comfy. I was jumping on it earlier, but they're actually nice little beds. Pretty decent size overall. Very good beds. So they do the job. Then you got the middle section over here. As you can see, it's a little table over here. You got a magazine down there. You got a phone, phone over here if you need to use it. Some switches for lamps, for instance, if you want to turn this on. And boom, light. But we're not going to use that. Turn it back off. There's some more outlets over there. Two outlets and two USB ports. Not too bad. And that's pretty much it for the room. Aside from... Jesus Christ, that's a lot of paintings. I don't like those paintings. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. The wall over here, I'm going to have to say... A little bit dirty. I don't know what this is, but... I don't know. It's just dirty. There's some outlets over there. Some fire safety stuff over here. Nothing too special. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the two queen strip view room. I mean, it's a decent room for what it is for only 55. I think I'm paying $58 a day. That for this room is actually a really great deal. Plus it's somewhat in the middle of the strip so you don't really have to walk far for many attractions. Not that bad. But anyways, let me show you the restroom which I think is really beautiful. Oh man. So we're gonna open this disability door right here. Pretty simple to open, and as you see, oh wow, 
This restroom looks beautiful, even in the dark. But we're gonna turn on the switch or lamp right here. Turn on the light, okay. I don't know what the heck is going on right now. That was having a seizure. Okay, there you go. Oh, what is what is going on? Okay, there you go. Oh, okay, so that was confusing. So basically this thing was down and it, it had a problem flickering the light. I don't know why. And it just dims your light anyways. So what we're gonna want is maximum brightness. So we're gonna switch this up. As you can see, it's super bright. Overall, not too bad. Decent mirror, very clean. You got a secondary mirror over there for you ladies who want to do makeup, stuff like that. You got a tissue box. You got a sink right here. This is a pretty nice sink. Pretty deep, you know, water level. Pretty good pressure. Overall, not too bad. You got some curtains over here, or I mean some towels over here. You got this, what is this, facial soap. Okay, that's pretty cool. Another painting over here. And if you look for a trash can down there, overall, not too bad for what it is. It actually looks like a very pretty and neat looking restroom. Going on further in, you got a little, uh, I forgot what this is, Cab uh, shelf over here. Oh my God, I can't even remember words now. You got a shelf right here, you got more towels. You got a moisturizing lotion over here. You got another body soap right here. A whole bunch more towels. And also you got your blow dryer right here inside of the bag, which is pretty neat. Down on the left side over here is your toilet. As you can see, just your average toilet, nothing too special. Extra tissue paper or toilet paper, toilet paper on the side. More paintings over here. Whoever designed this room really loves paintings. Oh my lord. Or photographs. And on the wall, there's a little hole or my knife mark. I don't know what the heck that is. We're gonna leave that alone. But what I really like is the shower. As you can see, it's a see-through shower. Overall, very nice, all glass, and it looks absolutely beautiful. More towels over there. They even have a towel for your feet down there. And let's open this up. Oh man, this looks beautiful. Go on inside. Woo wee! This looks nice. Shower head right there. You got your conditioner. You got your shampoo right there. That's how you turn it on. Overall, this is a nice looking shower. Wow. I'm impressed. But anyways, let's close this for now. Close, close, close. And that's pretty much it for the bathroom tour. As you can see, pretty decent bathroom. But yeah, that's basically it for the Strip View Rooms 2 Queen Bed Tour of Park MGM. Overall, not a bad room. So yeah, that's basically it of the tour of the two queen bed strip view rooms at Park MGM. Overall, I have to say the entire room is actually pretty good for what it is. Considering especially you're only paying around $50 to $58 a night, not including resort fees. But that is an amazing price. Although obviously, you know, if you come on a holiday, stuff like that, it's going to be more expensive. But if you're looking for a cheap and affordable hotel that also has everything you can ever need in a nice and fashionable manner, this is the hotel for you. This place is pretty well worth it. Strip view, I'd probably say you might, you could probably skip on it. It's not really necessary. I mean, you don't really have the best views ever, but the room itself, absolutely amazing. So yeah, if you guys are ever in Las Vegas and looking for some good rooms, definitely do check out Park MGM. I think you all really like it. So with that being said, that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun filming this. If you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like, comment, share this video with all your friends and family. Also, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because you know, I'm a small YouTuber. Any support does go a long way. And that's basically it. So until next time. <laughs>